everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do a fall design on this Mexican beach pebble. I will be using a few A Magic paint brushes. I have a zero, a number two, a number four, and a number six. Again, these are all flat brushes and then a dotting stylus. You can use anything that you feel comfortable with as a stylus or a dotting tool, that's up to you. I am using all folk art paint, a combination between multi-surface and enamel. I am using Thicket and Peridot. And this one is more of a metallic paint. Pure Orange, Vivid Orange, Autumn Leaves, Moon Yellow, Berry Wine, Real Brown, Burnt Sienna, and Wicker White. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to begin this with using my number four to create the pumpkin. I am going to set these brushes aside and try to pull my plate in here. Now I'm going to be using the autumn leaves to start off with. And I've tried to do this a couple different ways, but what I'm going to do today is actually just get the, the pumpkin design set now this is a little bit different than me painting on my paper because I always do my designs on paper first before I place them on my item, whether it's a bottle or whatever it is I'm using. I do this first uh, on paper. So I'm going to go ahead right now and do just do kind of a base coat into my design because with a rock the surface is not real smooth you know sometimes it's smoother than other rocks this one happens to not be really very smooth so I just want to make sure I get good coverage coverage is key for me and I'm going to be using these different colors of in the orange family to create this design. And I just want to make sure that I not only get good coverage but that my design is the shape that I want it to be. When I was doing it on paper I kept uh, making it kind of sideways. I don't want it to be sideways either. And I kind of want it to be where it's a little bit rounded at the top with a space in the center for my stem to go. And they don't have to be identical on one side to the other. They really don't. You could also use a stencil or a piece of paper if you want to print out the design and then either rub like a carbon pencil of some sort or use carbon paper to create the shape if you're not confident in doing it by freehand. It's one thing I probably need to get better at is showing you other ways of doing these things. As I just try to do a freehand on all of them if possible. I just want to make sure I do get good coverage. If you do a, a project and you think the, it needs another coat, the first coat doesn't do it, then by all means go over it with the first with another coat. Okay, and I'm just kind of again just trying to paint this with a good coat before I get started putting the lines in it. 
And on this bottom part, if you want it to be, you know, come out here a little bit more to not be completely flat on the bottom, you can do that too. And you don't have to spend as much time. I mean, I'm trying to make it look nice and get a good coat, but I don't have to. You know, be doing it as much as going over it as much as I am. Now, if you're doing this and you feel like you need to have a darker outline around the edge of it, you can always throw a little bit of the burnt umber, sienna, whatever it is you want, just around the edges here to give it. A little bit darker or if you want to let it dry before you do this it's easier to do blending when it's a little bit drier and I'm going to come over this one little bit of shading here because I do want it to there to be a difference and by adding some of this white on there white has a lot of pigment in it and then that will give it some good coverage if you use the white and then paint over it. Okay, if you want to scrape off your, your brush, you can. I'm going to go into the next color and then I'm going to try to do a little bit wider band here. And sometimes I get to where I don't leave enough of a gap and I come in too close to the edge and then you've got you don't have enough of the first layer showing through all right so I'm going to come in here once again just do some base painting just to get it to have good coverage you know if you want you can allow for some dry time in between these layers you don't have to, but you can. And if you want it to come up a little bit more here, then we can do that. Maybe even round it a little bit more here. It don't have to be perfect. Like I said, I, I'm not striving for perfection. I just want a decent design. Pumpkins aren't always perfect either, right? They come in all shapes and sizes. Alright, and then I'm going to come in here with another color. A little bit lighter. Probably should put some white in here with it. Come in here like that. Again, we're just making these layers. You can line them with browns if you want. Up to you. All right. So we have that. Then I'm going to do one more. I'm going to go back into the center with the original beginning color, and that's the autumn leaves. And then just put, I mean, come around like this to put 
put another center in here, or the final, and just kind of have it go down as much as you can. Like this. And I want it to show a little bit more with the autumn leaves so it doesn't get lost in the translation. Alright, and I apologize, that's my my air conditioning kicking on. I was kind of hoping I would get done with this before that, but I didn't. Alright, so there's my the beginning of my pumpkin design, I should say. That is my pumpkin. And again, you can do this if you want to use the same colors and just add more of the brown to outline them or do the different sections, that's fine. I choose to do it with the different colors. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and dip my brush, it's the tiniest one, the zero, into my peridot and my thicket. And what I'm going to do now, just want to make sure I have some of that on there, is come in here and put in my stem. And I'm doing it a little bit differently. I'm not doing just like a straight line. I am going to layer it. Just keep layering. Layering, 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 like that. Cute little stem. And then what I'm going to do is go in here and add my leaves around here. I've got a few few different things that I'm adding to this design. It's not just the pumpkin. And again, this might be not your style of pumpkin. I don't know. But I like it. I actually did some wine glasses based off of this design. So, now again, I'm trying to make sure my coverage here is getting into all the little nooks and crannies. So I may have to go over it just to make sure. I'm just doing a little wiggle leaf here. I'm going to come through the center here. Now I could, because I can't see that very well, turn my brush and do like that so I can actually see the little the little stem go through it. Or the little vein, whatever you want to reference it as. Alright, so here we go again. I'm going to go up in here. I'm going to turn my leaf like this. Like that. Do another stem. I'm going to go ahead and do it with that the peridot so I can see it. I'm going to turn it, come around this way, and put a, more, a couple more leaves. I'm going to get too much of the too much of the thicket, so I'm going to wiggle them a little bit. Again, just making sure I fill it in. Then turn this way. So I hope I'm on my on my screen, I hope. Alright, and then do it again this way. And then come here. Love it. It's so pretty. My pumpkin is kind of more of a, I don't know, I want to say more of a whimsical 
doesn't have to be realistic. No intentions. That. And bring that down here. So I got some good coverage with my leaves. All right, so what I'm going to do next is come through here, do some white and the burgundy, or berry wine, I call it burgundy. But anyhow, do, and this is with the number two. I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to, and I'm going to make sure I'm white. Can I come up here, pull these down, and pull it up like that. Again. Come down and pull it up around. And these are just supposed to be cute little flowers. Cute little flowers. Let me get them. Gotta be careful because my some of the paint is still wet. All right, and then I'm going to go like this, pull it out, and back. Yep. Get that into the very wine very well. I don't know why that's not working. Okay, there we go. That, and then. Have another one that'll come down here. Like that. I'll come down like this. It's like two humps per per petal. My biggest thing is trying to make sure I don't overpower the design with these leaves or with these flowers. I have a tendency to do that too. I can get a little crazy. Get a little crazy. Or a lot. Like I said, because there's some imperfections in the stones, they're not as smooth as you might be used to painting on, so you just have to take that in consideration. Okay, so I'm going to kind of wipe this clear of the burgundy, go back into the white, and you can have a little bit of the berry wine, or I keep calling it burgundy, showing. But I'm going to do some, just some vines and... This is where I'm using both of the browns and then just doing some, just some branches, branch work. And just making it just real, I don't know, just real loose. Doesn't have to be anything crazy or, I mean, you can put some over the leaves because, you know, with branches, they're going to be kind of intermixed. When you have a branch, they're not just going to be stuck here or stuck behind or in front or whatnot. You're going to find them all over. And they can actually go over your flower a little bit. Just do, I like what I'm doing, just very easy. Doesn't have to be anything difficult. Just very subtle, very simple. And it's kind of more like an accent, you know, that we're accenting these branches or part of the design, but it's an accent of the design. And then we'll do one last one up here, put the white in there. And 
I kind of like my little top to my pumpkin, so I don't really want to mess with that too much. But anyhow, you have that, so that's cute. And then what I need to do is take my stylus, and I'm going to take some of the moon yellow. I'm just going to just quickly dot in the center of these flowers. Again, very simple. Anybody can do these. And please know that's exactly what my my <clears throat> channel is all about. Simple painting for anybody. Alright, and then I'm going to take the stylus and start doing just some basic dotting with the berry wine. And you could actually use, there's other tools you can use to do this, but I'm just going to stick with the dotting stylus. Wipe that off a little bit. Come back in here. And you can add another color if you think this doesn't stand out enough because it's just kind of dark. You can add white. You can add maybe gold. Or you can just let it be. And let it be more of a not a standing out accent, but something that just is part of the design and adds to it, but doesn't take away from it. Or you can make them bigger. I think it's cute. Just a cute little, cute little design. You can sit in a bathroom, sit it in a basket, sit it on a shelf just to kind of have something for the fall as part of your home decor. And see the one thing nice with the different colors that I've used on the pumpkin then you can see the different layers easy. But you can also achieve that like I said with doing, adding the brown to the edges if you want. All right, so there we go. Pretty easy, pretty cute. I hope you like it. If you like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. And before you leave, please share this video on your social network with all your family and friends. Very easy to do. Just hit that share button that you'll find underneath the video. It'll give you the options of where you want to share it, and that's all you have to do. Pretty easy. Alright, thanks again so much for stopping by. I appreciate you and hope you stay safe and healthy. Until the next time, you have a good one.